Hello, 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 and welcome to Rangaroo Cast with me, Rangaroo. And today we're doing something a bit different. If you usually watch my channel, you usually see a lot of war game replays. But today I am doing Company of Heroes 2. So, on the left side, playing our American, we have Fund Hun. And on the right side, playing Upper Commandos, it's Runs Over. So, yeah, thought I'd try something a bit different, see how it goes out. And yeah. So both teams are going to capture the fuel points, you're going to need them for building tanks later on, a very viable point to get early on, you need as much petrol as you can for upgrades. We'll be quickly capping in that, bringing out the rifle squad immediately, and we got a Kubarakan for the other commandos as their first unit build. Very interesting choice, people like to get either Stern Pioneer or Volk's Grenadier squad. So hopefully you can keep this pretty fragile but very powerful Kubarakan alive. Moving the stern pioneer to around the top flank and put it down to oh, actually putting down some barbed dryer, try to keep the fuel point a little bit secure. And the cube will just moving right on in. He's gonna cross the up bridge and the rifleman are already there. And the cube will can get into position. He should start being able to engage. Yup, suppressing the rifleman, forcing them to get behind cover. He's going to pull it back a bit, just so we can get out of range. As the closer you are to infantry, the more damage you will be taking. But the more damage you will also deal to the enemy infantry as well. So I don't think he's going to be able to dig out his rifleman. He probably needs his stern pioneers to move up and flank around and finish them off. But he can keep them nice and pinned. But we've got a second rifleman squad moving out. And if he's rifleman, you can out see... Oh, can he flank it? Yeah, he's about to get out of range up. The cube rag can blow an HP. He needs to get out of there before it dies. He just barely gets out. He's got his folks around there. He's camping in the bottom. And he's going to keep his riflemen together. As they are usually to do work better in groups and alone. Now, has once over pick up his command yet? No, he has not. As this game, you get commands you can pick from that give you special units and abilities to choose from. Depending on your command points, and you get command yeah, points yeah, just squad. over throughout the match. Then you've got folks when it is barricading into the church. Firing onto the riflemen. I mean, they don't really have much cover. Well, they gas getting good flanking shots out of the folks' grens, and the riflemen are going to be pulling back. Allow the folks to the cap in the middle point. And we've got a flank here of the Cuba Ragon and the Stern Pioneers. A very nice flank. Good old trap and bait. He has to get East Rifleman into the building. They're very low on NHP. There's only two guys left. He could. Is he going to eliminate the squad? Nope, they're going to retreat. But the Cuba Ragon is going to give chase. Oh, they might just get out. Yep, yeah, wrong guy. Left alive. Another rifleman squad seems like a Thunderhun doing three rifleman strat. Now he got two Riesalon at the bottom. And he should be upgrading, he should be getting one of these soon, yep. He could buy a lieutenant or platoon commander. Which allows him to unlock the utility car, the machine gun, and the AA half track. And the AA half track is very potent against early game Ober Commandos. And the Ober Commandos are capturing in the middle, Mr. Runson over. Completely under his control. All he has to do is control this bridge here, as it's really one of the only ways to get to the northern part of the map. But he's not going to do that, he's moving his rear salon down the bottom. Volley fire, it gives suppression onto the troops. But because these guys are in cover, it's harder to suppress him. He can pull back his rear salon. You see, I don't really do too much damage. The rear salon are pretty pathetic if they're standard M1 carbines. <laughs> That's going to be a bit of a shooting wall back and forth. Oh, nice grenade, yeah. Chuck it on a nice chunk of the wrestle on HP. We're taking fire. And right now, once and over, getting pretty good map control. Just having this top bridge here covered with the Cooper Wagon. 
is quite a nice advantage. Has he picked his commander? No, he has not. Got a bit of a rifleman piss here. Back for revenge. You know, pretty good cover. The Volks in bad cover because on the road. Trying to get out of here. Oh, we got a machine or oh, stern pioneer. Shut up. Yeah, I'm on a retreat soon as they are low in HP. And every time you lose a guy, you have to buy that guy back. So losing just normal men can really cost you in the late one as you're constantly just buying infantry. So it's usually a good idea to retreat your infantry before you lose a scrub. That's like 320 points down the drain, yeah. A very good kill with the rifleman. Kubarak and repositioning to deal with a bit of a blob. Forcing him to fall back a bit. Does he have him by a flank? No, we got we got Reifman taking on the Volks Grens. They're doing a very good manoeuvring. Now we actually got his captain. Oh, we actually got a captain on the field. Skipping straight to tank three, allowing him to get an AT gun, a howitzer, and a Stuart light tank. And the other commandos actually build a mechanized. HQ first, allowed him to get a AA half track, a Puma, and a Stuka. Half, a Stuka half track, which is a pretty nice artillery piece. So he could be out to get his Puma pretty early on. And the Puma is quite nice early on, as Americans don't really have much AT to deal with it. And it stops him from getting an AA half track and a utility car. And it can even fight off the Stuart light tank. They got the Cuba Ragon moving up a bit. And the gunner. Not want to go around that corner, especially as a captain squad taking like two hit at Cooper Ragman with their bazooka. And the cool thing about the captain squads, they actually got two bazookas instead of just one, so great anti tank capabilities. Up top here, wrestle on capping the points. And we get some folks flanking around as well, just picking at each other's sides. Yeah, most of infantry are back at base as two folks grand squads. And he has five. <laughs> All his infantry are just folks grenadiers. You don't have to about how it's being brought up by the Americans. That's going to be a great asset in the cover in the middle. As there's a pretty big open ground here. And that's how you can destroy infantry if they're all nice and bunched up. As well as killing the infantry that may get inside these buildings. Got the Cuba Ragon moving up. Going to try and stop his rear echelon from capping the point. And yeah, that's a good idea if the rear echelon do get out of dodge. Folks recapping sectors that they that they've been losing. And I think we had to clear out his rear salon easily and cap to the top flank. Unless these riflemen have something to say about it. As we got quite a bit of riflemen here. Now below Cooper Ragon. Rear salon gonna be a treat him for taking any losses. The captain squad gonna be fighting against two vote grens. Oh a nice amount of grenades here. Yeah. He threw like five, four nades? That's a lot. What well, I think he got the stun grenade perk, yeah. He's got stun grenades, as he did pick the special operations doctrine. And those stun grenades are cheaper, they only cost them munitions. And you use munitions for buying uh, infant buying upgrades for your current units. And throwing grenades. They will use up munitions. And there's a caps here. Caps in the middle. And there's a howitzer firing off. But there's nothing protecting it, so he can just roll up. Right next to it. And it can't really do too much. He could throw a stun grenade on it. Or maybe a normal nade. And they've got Rear Slon coming in. But we have all his riflemen all spread out. He's going to try and get his uh, fuel point. And it's all about controlling the fuel in this game. And Thunderhun still hasn't picked his commander yet. Stuart tank ready for action. But he does have his Stuart tank out, and I don't think. It... Oh, he's got a Lokes. 
got a loops light tank. The loops doesn't really do well against enemy tanks, but it's great against infantry. Thanks for his auto, little auto cannon. So that means once an over has got the Panzer HQ. It also gives them access to the Luke's, the Ober Soldaten squad, a very good high veteran squad, the Panther and the Sturm Tiger. I think Vandalm is he getting any other upgrades? No. Just sticking with the com company command post. Keep forgetting the names of these buildings. They have really technical names. And oh, they're going to be capping the mid once more. Yeah, so pretty good control Back over the bottom the flank as well. And there's the Luke scaring off the rifleman. Going to be chasing them back to base, seeing how many kills you can get. As every kill is a point loss or money, manpower loss for the enemy. Yeah, the Stuart going to be coming up to deal with the Lukes. Now, if the Lukes do get side shots and flank shots, you see with the deal with the Stuart, but an affront on engagement, not so much. Once and over, getting the Ober squad. That's your last two votes, Grinch. That's not entirely good. And getting a rack and roll for AT gun. Very little interest in AT gun. As first, it shoots bloody rockets. And second, you can retrieve it. And third, you can garrison it in buildings, which you can't really do with any other AT gun. Making it a pretty small little. Not really mobile, but like a big bazooka. Or Panzer Shrek, because we're playing Germans. We've got Luke's and Cuba moving up. And Volk's Grenadiers upgrading with a Panzer Shrek. All, all Volk's Grenadier squads can get a Panzer Shrek upgrade for 90 manpower or 90 munitions. Giving them a bit of anti tank capabilities. Speaking of tanks, Stuart going to be rolling in. And all the loose right close to the captain's squad. And out, out of control it is a down loose. Boom. And that's a bit of a hefty loss, yeah. And oh, it's folks friend squad. I think he's going to lose it as well. Unless he can get it out fast enough. But the Obers are in position to deal with the captains and the Obers, especially the Cooper Agon, are a great anti-infantry force. And behind this good cover of their machine gun, they sort of wreck these riflemen. Unless the Howitzer has something to say about it. Good grenade, yeah. Knocking off quite a bit of HP. So the Obers are going to have to fall back. It's just going to be down to the Cooper Agon, which is pretty badly damaged. And he does lose it. Now, I think he might lose his AT gun, which will also be a big loss. Unless he can get out ASAP. Oh, so low on HP. Uh, down bottom here, he does have his Panzer HQ set up. The interesting thing with the Panzer HQ for the Op Commandos, as he has a nice little AA gun, he's is great at shooting down planes and keeping infantry and light vehicles at bay. Got Stuart clearing up the top part. Needs folks, Grenz, they don't have any AT capabilities at all. So they can't really deal, deal with the Stuart. Which is pretty much free to roam around just as long as it stays away from any AT. Now the American commander, Mr. Thunderhun, not getting any upgrades still, just buying lots of infantry and saving his fuel. Bringing up an ambulance. Boats grand in the church. But once again, this probably isn't going to go too well as this howitzer and just in a group. Where's the bloody howitzer? Here's the howitzer. It's just going to pound it down. So Americans, they have a pretty nice grip on the middle. Maybe set up a machine gun, a 50 count, or just cover it. 
cover it a bit more, but with the rifleman he's doing quite a good job. But he isn't really spending his munitions at all with the rifleman at back at base. You can get like he's up you can get them with machine guns and bazookas, which make the rifleman a lot more effective fighting force. In late game, you really want to equip these guys with these machine guns and bazookas, as it makes them a lot better. As you can't just stick out with the ammo on ground. We've got a big push here. Oh, but we got a raking Stuka barrage. And he's going to be. What's he going to be hitting? He's actually completely devastating that building and getting the howitzer at the same time. Very nice kill here. Where's the Stuka? I want to get a nice zoom in on it if I can actually find it. Oh, right, I could just click here. And yeah, still getting a little bit used to the heart. Here it is. Right in plain view. And the Stuka is great against the Americans because they used to get nice big infantry blobs. Which can be quite hard to deal with, so a bit of a bit of rocket artillery will deal with that. And Obers trying to take back some ground at the mid. And right now, our upper commando player really <laughs> losing in the point department. The Americans haven't. Two the flags, almost having all three, but they got the folks running deers down here, changing that around. Rifleman and captains moving up on the AT gun, which is going to get out of that building, which is pretty badly damaged. Oh, he's going to be really close to the Rake and Suka. No, he has the AT gun back here to protect him, and he's getting another Uber squad. Thunderhun getting a major, meaning he has access to the Sherman, the Jackson, and the M8 Howitzer light tank. And the major is not really a great frontline force, but a great supporting unit, as he can be a retreat point for the infantry to retreat back to, and he can call down artillery and recon flights, and even and even fake artillery barrages. We have a push here, gonna scan off the rifle grin. It's a retreat in the long way, so I have to run all the way over here and all the way down here. So, oh yeah, because he actually... Oh, that's smart. The Americans placed down barbed wire here. So he had to go all the way around the long way to cap it. We got Raking Stuka Barrage in the middle. Mr. Thunder on having really good control right now of the map. Really denying the enemy lots of places. Oh, Rasslon might not want to run into the Ober Squad because you get killed. And the AT gun, they really like putting this AT gun in a pretty frontal position. Unsupported by infantry, but not for long, he has to go on Ober, Ober Squad. Moving up to deal with these guys. Did clear up your uh, rifleman yet? Yeah, quite easily. No one to mess with these guys. They're like the Terminator of this game. That yeah, machine gun will wreck face. It's like every time that machine gun does a burst, it most of the time kills an enemy unit. Making it quite nice. We've got folks' grens moving up. AT gun as well. Going to be trying to take him in the middle. And we've got a bit of a flight here. I think he's doing a recon flight. Yeah, there's a recon pass. And where's the Stuart taking the fire from the AT gun? But this building's almost destroyed, and if the building goes down, so do the infantry inside it. So it's not the safest place to, the safest place to put your AT gun, especially when there's an artillery barrage right on top of it. 
an American commander, the American player, Mr. Funkerton, get an infantry commander. This allows him to get some nice mortar units, some defensive upgrades for his riflemen. A mach machine gun. The machine gun munitions thing here for the rifleman, which he has a cryptos rifleman riv. Trying to get him some better better firepower. And an artillery barrage. I really should go over at the um Ofer's commanders, which gives him special operations, which gives him radio silence. Like all those units on the minimap, great for doing flanking attacks. Stun grenades, infrared for FTGs, making these guys shoot long range. Artillery flares. Which reveal locations and then a panther command tank, which is like an elite panther. Because the panther tank wasn't good enough. Now we've got the over trying to move a bit up into the middle. That's the abandoned visitor so we can repair it with the vehicle crew inside. The interesting thing about the Americans are even the, t the vehicle crew inside the tank can jump out and repair it. Boats Grenn throwing a lot of grenades, a lot of stun grenades. <laughs> Trying to keep the enemy at bay, but that's not going to work out too well. And now the Reisman with his nice machine gun upgrade, it should prove quite a bit of a fight for the Obers, unless they just run away. I think the AT guns are really just scaring them, even though they're not that great against the infantry. He just uses Boats Grenn's, yep, he's going to cut the munitions point. And we've got an Uber push here, both Uber squads moving up. Can try to get that power up, sure it does go down. Yeah. Last infantry air retreating. And if we also get the ambulance, that's a nice kill. Because it's very lightly armoured and away it goes. American using now time on artillery barrage, yeah. Got to scare off the infantry. And the Obers now taking up a quite good frontal position. Enemy forces just destroyed one of our light tanks. And he actually lost Jan Stewart. There's a grenade. And oh, he nicked the enemy howitzer. Oh, that's a nice steal, yeah. It's always good to take the enemy's units. Uh, it's like a free unit, basically. Got Rage and Stuka. I think he's going to be in an artillery barrage quite soon. I did just spot that Major and AT gun. This would be some nice kills. No, there we go. The barrage going to be firing. Mm -mm. But he didn't really hit too much, though. If he hit maybe a little bit later, he could have got these guys, but they are moving up. Reichman clearing into the middle. Gonna try and break out to the flag once again. And still over, only a half ray or half ray to losing. Listen up. Here's the deal. Is that another recon overflight? Yeah, it seems so. Ground's ours. Now spread out. There's the air gun firing on the plane. <laughs> Mage is actually standing ready to vote. Causing them to retreat, also thanks to the captain squad up here. I'm trying to capture the flanks. You don't want to use your, it's a bit risky using your major in this front line position here. You always want to keep them in the back lane, it's only three guys and they, one guy only has a pistol. And the captain's moving around to the Obers machine gun fire. Here's some trees majors as well. Rifleman looking over the mid. And let's have a howitzer set up. 
And oh, yeah, it's the Panther. I believe it's the normal Panther and not the command tank run. Yeah, that's just a normal panther. And that is that's gonna make a that's gonna make a fun to hunt road really nasty. As he has yeah, he has two AT guns. But the panther super to deal with his infantry quite easily. And he has to use his AT guns in a pretty aggressive manner if he wants to take out his panther. But he is building a I believe that's a Jackson. Yeah, he's building a Jackson. Even though Jackson is basically a paper mache tank, it's a very big gun. And that big gun can take out the plant for easily. Nice raking secret barrage air causing the riflemen to retreat. But he really needs to start capping some flags. We'll cap the bottom one, it's pretty empty. And get rid of that bloody bar dryer if it's still here. Here's the cabin on the top flank as well. And there's the pump face is rolling in, he doesn't care. He's gonna try and get a howitzer. Oh he ran right into the AT gun. Oh the AT gun has side shots, nope. Causing forcing it to reposition. I think it doesn't have range, does it? Yeah it does. Real armor hit that Panther. It's not the most heavily armored tank. Yeah, the it's not as heavy armored as a tiger. Yeah, <laughs> bit of a bit of a gun run, yeah, bit of a hit and run. He really didn't get that power to tank you, but we do have the Jackson on the field. Arrival for the Panther. All shut up. And Ron Snow doing a very nice job. Cap in the middle. Oh, <laughs> never mind. How much? Only getting rid of that hope. Frag grenades now available for action. And finally, the Americans getting the grenade package. Oops, they can retreat in the building. I don't think I can hold off too well against the Rackman. And the Vanda, I'm really sitting on quite heavy of manpower. Sort of just saving his money up. Rackman cap in the mid, he's gonna try and nick, nick back his mortar. Yeah, it's moving him right up. No, he's gonna steal out back. His rightful property. And oh, Ober is taking a nice offensive position here. Knocking out the AT gun. And he's gonna knock out the captain squad. And he's Ober's a three star veteran. She makes him quite potent killers. And oh, good rake and stupid. Actually, not that good. He he missed the rifleman completely once again. Oh, it's actually a walking suit. I keep saying raking. Oba's flanking. I don't think I can deal with this much firepower, yo. Might want to treat him. Unless he gets a flank with... Oh, an Oba squad with the STG upgrade. Yeah, STG upgrade does give him increased range. And it also gives him a really silly big looking scope. As you can see. A very early infrared vision scope. And look at that bloody giant battery pack you have to carry around just to keep it on. It's just four triple A batteries. Or double A batteries. And oh, the Jackson isn't going to have any of it. He's just going to roll on right through. Obers can't really deal with that, so he's going to retreat. And he doesn't have any boats of panda tracks here. Does he have any AT guns? He's got run set up near his uh, frontal base here. He does have his ambulance set up. He's just a 
is it a fallback point so it's infantry and I have to fall back here sort of running back all the way over here and you can heal them as well as this doesn't actually heal their HP it only resupplies their men and the that panther doing a bit of a slug out for Jackson to keep his range but the roadmen are going to be flanking and you've got a captain squad here if he can get some side shots on the panther he can do some nasty damage It's not going to let happen. Volksgren's retreating. Ah, oh, but he got that. Yeah. That's a good kill, yeah. That was a four-star Volksgren of the squad. Oh, <laughs> he got his howitzer back on. So he's still the enemy howitzer back. And it's not his anymore. As a howitzer, you need to have at least three guys on it. If it, if it goes down to two people, the last two people just retreat. And the Oba's moving up. Very potent anti-infantry. Very potent anti-infantry force. And now, Ron doing a very good job knocking off the, the enemy victory points. They can slow but surely catch up. Look at Reichman flanking, going to be neutralised in the top. And going to be Riaslon neutralised in the bottom. Oh, it's a nicely upgraded Riaslon squad at two stars. Yeah, to get an extra guy. Uh, for just getting some repairs at the mechanized HQ. We just have some automatic repairmen here. Give them a good old fiction. I think it's uses Ubers to try and re-secure his flanks. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Oh, grenade. But he did clear out the rifleman. Oh, he's gonna retreat here. He's not gonna actually neutralize the point first. Can't throw up here, getting a few stops from the Jackson. But he's all fine and dandy still. You know, fall back, deal the infantry. He does have that uh, AA gun on the top. The AA gun or commander gunner. Pintor mounted, that's how you say it. That's Pintor mounted machine gun. This does improve the Panthers and time infantry capabilities. I just want to see the kill counts of these guys. Damn, that's a lot. And that's also a lot. Those, those Obers getting quite a nice amount of kills. Let's look at the American kill count real fast. And yeah, not as much, but the infantry are more. The Obers are more like specialised, and time infantry killer droid and the Rifemen are more generalised. So you can really fit them for everything. 28 kills, god damn, that's quite good. Captain's moving up. Do I neutralise in the top flank runs again? As Run V runs in this game, it's always about these flanks flip and flop. As you don't really have too much heavy defences there. As you always want to be moving up and attacking. This isn't a defensive game like war game. Oh, Biz and folks moving up. They get right close to the right when they do have that uh, CQC advantage for the STGs. So the closer they get, the better they are. And oh, did they get the last rifleman? Oh, yes, he does. Good kill, yeah, good kill. And this is where it turns into late game where you're going to be losing units as you have a lot more to control over. So you do lose the squad a squad every now and again. Especially to Sermons. Sermons are quite nasty anti-infantry anti killers. Not great against tanks but it does have that HE shell. And you can get another pinto mounted gun on it. It's a 50 cal and that 50 cal has to admit is better than the MG42. But the Sermon doesn't work well against let's say Panthers. Which is happening right now. That's almost down, but the Jackson's gonna come in and save it. Is he gonna keep the Panther yet? Yes, he does. He gets a kill. And now he's gonna slug it out with the Jackson. And the end pulled back, both of them realizing it's a bit too risky. 
as the Jackson and the Panther are there. Big tanks that they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose your votes, Grenja. Yeah. Oh, what is he doing? The Jackson gets some side shots. Up. Oh. Yeah, he does. We don't want to pull back at Panther. A little bit too risky. Jackson going to be chasing, trying to get the kill, but he's not going to be fast enough. And right now, Mr. Runtanova, still lower in VP. But he does have more points secured, so he's going to be bleeding the American Mr. Thunderdome over still. Good overflank. And he's just using his overs to a great effect, he's just m mopping up all the infantry. Oh, grenade. Oh! He just lost his... He just lost his STG over squad. That is a nasty loss to take. Good rifle grenade, yeah. Or oh, normal grenade to see. The toils of war. And look, look at that guy. He's been all gibbed up. <laughs> yeah, that is a big loss, yeah. And he's going to be paying out back of a walking Stuka barrage. Not really hitting. Oh, got a few hits on the rifleman and knocked down the Jackson's HP quite a bit. As the lightly armored vehicle with an artillery can do quite a bit of damage to it. Rifleman and captains trying to re secure the southern flank. And we got a big puss here. Oaks Grand with, with Panzer Strex. And Obers trying to take the mid. Good artillery shot here from the how from the priest. Which almost had to completely kill that squad. And then moving up is oh really? Is he gonna nick JD gun out? Yeah, good steal. Yeah, very good steal. Oh, he's in a salvage the AT gun. The cool thing about the other commandos, is they can salvage is like dropped weapons and tanks for fuel, and that will deny the enemy picking up an AT gun again, and it gives them fuel. Area secure. Area secure. And then the give him some cover and fire, sort of oaks can retreat. I know we actually set this place to blow. I believe that's one of their special abilities. Yeah, they can rig points to blow. So when the Americans try and recapture it, it's going to be in a nasty treat. But, oh, I think I'm not trapped and knocked out the booby trap. And what the hell do we owe? He's got himself a King Tiger. Spent all his fuel on the King Tiger. Very expensive unit to get 720 manpower and like 200 fuel. But this only costs like 600 manpower and like 175 fuel. But these guys here just wreck the Jackson. He could really just roll into base. What do the Americans have? They got two AT guns, but against King Tiger frontally. And now they're talking this map is the worst for yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's just clearing out the bunker positions. And then that King Tiger, man, you do not want to mess with it. He's charging it with riflemen. Ah. Uh, I think he might try to get an anti tank grenade on it. But. Oh! I see, good at getting the engine. I know it's bad for it. Might not want to be. Yeah, it's going to flank an AT gun. King Tiger now even slurry on before the broken engine. Are 
and they got himself an Umbra Jackson to try and deal with his tank push. And he could get his Panther. I mean, his real armor has been shown. Ah, oh, so low on HP. I don't know if that Panther's going to get out. It doesn't have side skirt, so I think the side skirt's just saved its life. Nope. No, it didn't. And it's going to crash into the tree line and blow up. And now the King Tiger is actually pretty low on HP. Is he going to kill it? Oh, he might just kill it with the Jackson. I mean, the King Tiger's turret is very slow, so he could probably do Ring Around the Rosies. Nope, no, he's not. And in the middle here, now Ray Kansuka falling back. Ober's cap in top. Rifleman cap in bottom. And a Major in the rear, salon cap in mid. Now the King Tiger is trying to retreat. Got folks, Grens coming in to save it. See why it doesn't have Stern Pioneers, because you can actually repair the Tiger instead of having to pull it back all the way over here to repair. The Jackson is still want to try to keep it ranged from the Tiger, or King Tiger, because it can still like two shot it. As a giant gun, the Karak 88 L71 will just boom, kill it. Same gun that's used on the elephant, I believe. Well, I think the elephant uses the 128, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, is he going to lose the second Uber squad? Oh, don't lose it. Nah, yeah, he's going to get out. Rare Salon can't hit for crap. But, yep, yeah, yeah, the King Tiger is going to be able to fight for another day. If they were lost yet, I think I would have been GG. Guys, there's so much money poured into that one unit. I think it's like the most expensive unit in game. Yeah, it probably is. is under Maybe no. the Jag Tiger. Not entirely sure. Folks neutralizing the fuel point. Enemy and just capping around the bottom. Asalon taken back top. Oh, well, it's got this Ober Squad all the way to five stars. Think of um, Ober Commandos. Their infantry could go up to five stars, while all the other factions only go up to three, making them even better when elite. But it takes longer to get them to uh, max potential. I mean, all you got is folks around survive, which gives them great survivability and accuracy on their weapons. Reiken Suka moving up. The Reiken Suka does, or Walk in Suka. It's a Reiken bloody up. It does have a machine gun on the front, so it can defend itself a little bit from infantry. And it's doing a barrage on the rifleman, but once again, missing. Got another Oba squad here with FTGs. They're pulling it up before Jackson can get a kill. Now the King Tiger getting wrapped up. Ready to go again. And right now, our American commander, Mr. Thunderdome. Oh no, Mr. Runson over. Keep getting the colours mixed up because I keep switching it back and forth. Pretty low on points, only at 100 left. Orbit's oh, moving up on the rear salon. The volley fire is not not really doing too much. It has been nerfed quite a bit, so it's not as effective as it used to be. I think it takes longer to volley fire an infantry squad now. We got three ogres, squads, bloody hell, three ogres, two Vokes, and this King Tiger. Last one in the cap in mid. And just look at its middle point, completely <laughs> devastated by artillery barrages. And there's a Rolk and Stuka firing. Gonna try and clear out the middle and get in run and right from him. Uber's going to be fine against the Rifleman. 
And all the Rofman managed to get them pinned down with a machine gun. He should have really kept him at long range, as the Obers are better at long range. And this cool thing about this machine gun, it allows them to suppress enemy infantry. And it also increases their firepower dramatically, drastically. And here's the King Tiger rolling up front again, round two. He doesn't care as a captain squad, he's got a command panther. And the command panther actually increased the sight radius of the King Tiger because it's nearby. Let's see, can you see too much? So if these two guys, it's going to be quite hard for Mr. Thunder to deal with him. He'll need some heavy AT, he does have the action. But he's also going to do a bit of flanking. Because these tanks are very heavily armoured, especially the King Tiger frontally. Very heavily armoured. One of the most heavily armoured units in game. I think the only thing armoured with more armour is probably the Yag Tiger. Oba's cap in mid. And this is rarely Oba Commando was really signed his late game, especially against America. So America has that early game advantage of all the riflemen and light vehicles that they can get. Well, the Oba Commando can get these big heavy tanks. That kicks serious ass. I guess we got them. I haven't got the machine gun upgrade for his King Tiger here. But we did get it for the Panther. And now he's going to be moving up. Should really maybe wait for the King Tiger to come up with him. But it doesn't matter, he's going to be flanking that Jackson. Oh, I think he might lose the command tank. He shouldn't have just moved out by itself. He should have waited for the King Tiger. Oh, he might just get it. No, Captains. Oh, he has a second part for gone. But he moved up a little bit too far. <laughs> the AT gun turned around at the wrong time. And uh, there's no more AT gun. But it doesn't matter. There's a King Tiger here. He got the Jackson. He got one of the Jacksons. Oh, no, that's a Panther. The Jackson's still alive. Now he's going to be pulling back. That's still a nasty loss. He's losing another Panther. I mean, those things aren't cheap. I mean, this one's like yeah, 200 fuel, 560 manpower. Not something you can just throw away. Your Nobis moving up. Don't think I'm going to work too well. I might just want to retreat him. And you've got folks, friends. Get in! Get in the army. He has two. He has a bazooka and a pound strap. With these guys. So it's double AT power. And I think. I think once Nova just wants to get this done with, he's just going straight for the base. If he can get the Jackson, or has another Jackson now. If he can get his tanks, he'd be good to go. Because he jumped out. Can deal with the infantry. Good old fast and rave grease guns. But even just his like aggression, he needs to start maybe start capping his back point a bit more. Try to take advantage of it. Pay attention, this ready to kick ass. Steady up. Let's look at what, what in there Americans have. Not too much. They've got a captain scrudge, a major, a rifleman, and just the Jackson crew jumping out. So uh, not really doing good in terms of infantry. Once Nova on the same boat, but his infantry are all elite with lots of high with lots of high ranking stars. I see him moving his walking stuka away from a major squad. And he's actually retreating his King Tiger for reps. Uber's gonna be capping north. And Rifleman moving up to take the try to take center. Oh, stun grenade? No, nope, that's a normal grenade. And that's also a normal grenade. 
And there's a walking Stuka Barrage on the Rifleman and on the Jacksons. Knocking off a bit of HP. And on a pretty late game here. And it's still pretty neck on neck. This is going to be about who can keep their tanks alive. As if either side's lose their tanks and the other one still has the air tanks. Like if both Jacksons go down, it's going to be GG. And if his Tiger goes down, it's also probably going to be GG. As these are such heavy investments. Oh, walking Stuka. Not going to be uh, walking much for too long. Oh, I think he might just get out. Oh, you lucky bastard. But his main gun's been destroyed. Is that does that mean the machine gun sound? Yeah, it just means the machine gun sound. So can we see a dead guy now? Yeah? Let's see. Do they have a lot of attention to detail? No. It's just a gun sound. The guy inside is still alive, as you can see. We have the King Tigers done. The walking to here. Get it. Shan the right repairs. Thunderdome, I'm mean, all riflemen. Has a nice uh, AT rifleman with a stolen panzer shrink. Since here dealing with the Volks Grenz. Bridge at range of Volks Grenadiers do have an advantage, especially if Ober's flanking. Now we've got the King Tiger moving up for round number three. Let's see how that goes. So it moves up. Taking in the view. We can't see how he does. Let's do that for now. Get a bit of cinematic view. That's the King Tiger prowls in. It's bots of riflemen. Grenades from the Obers. And he's going to be retreating them back. But the King Tiger is going to stay its ground. It doesn't care as infantry actually knocks out an entire rifleman squad in one shot. With that big shotting gun. I mean, look at that gun. That's bloody huge. Our supply line's cut. Germans are making a push. He's going to be rolling right over. <laughs> the guy under there, stuck underneath the trench. Just sort of sweeping them away. And oh, there's the Jackson flankings. Oh, this is what he needs to do. He's trying to flank the King Tiger. That's, that's the best thing you can do with these Jacksons. Okay, he's on that hat. He almost got one of them. Ober's cap in the bottom flank, making the petrol station, the petrol point. An all powerful command tank knocking out a Jackson. Oh, in just at the right time. And another two on the fuel. And he might just get the second. Oh, he did. Oh, that's not good. Unless he's. Uh, yeah, there's Thunderhan. He can't believe what just happened. German armor, ladies and gentlemen. You do not mess with it. Even after it's like his third Panther, he managed to buy another. And now, with like, no AT. <laughs> Complimenting each other on the Obers. The Obers so Daltons, you see. They just kick ass. These guys just kick ass. The cool thing about the Obers is they're one of a few, they're like one of the only infantry squads that can actually fire their machine gun while on the move. But other infantry squads have to stop to do that. And now, Thunderhun, he, he doesn't have anything. He does not have much at all. And yeah, that's going to be a GG, yeah. And Ronson over is going to be taking in the victory with the German armor. And yeah, it's a very, very good match. Lots from back and forth. If he could have got his Jacksons and a bit more flanking maneuver at the end, things may have gone a little bit differently. 
But as I said, it was all about losing those tanks. Whoever lost their tanks would have lost the match. And that is exactly what happened. But yeah, overall, a good match. And I hope it's something a bit different. I know it's not a raw game. But hey, let's 